It's over a week since the crisis between the Gongon youths and Fulani herdsmen in Ibaraka happened. Governor Shei Makinde and his team visit some of the hotspots in the locality for two days. I also feel the pain. I feel your pain. First, a meeting with the traditional rulers, farmers and youth representatives in the area, and then a stopover at Idere and Igongon in Ibaraka land, after which the governor commiserates with some of the victims. We're supporting them with the logistics now. We brought uh, uh, four additional uh, operational vehicles for them. Uh, we'll uh, you know, support them with uh, 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 more logistics as uh, time goes on. But they are here. They are here on ground. And then uh, uh, in the morning, you can watch out. Uh, I'm sure you'll see them. He corrects the insinuation that he took a particular position during the crises. He added that the failure of communication, intelligence gathering, and other factors led to the escalation of the crises in the area. I am quite glad that uh, uh, some of the things that the government, some of the initiatives that the government is uh, uh, trying to put in place to stem insecurity, uh, like um, uh, ensuring that uh, uh, our identity management program, you know, takes off. Uh, uh, as quickly as possible, uh, uh, the Peace and Security Committee that is uh, all encompassing, and also for uh, uh, you know political office holders to know that uh, uh, when they see something, they have to say something. The residents have a few demands from the government as they claim they have been facing various challenges in the hands of herdsmen since 2008 which has escalated to rape, kidnapping and murder. <laughs> Apart from the deployment of 200 additional Amotek corps to Ibarapa land, Governor Makinde added that he has also instructed the agency and other security apparatus to step up an intelligence gathering while warning residents not to stigmatize any particular ethnic group.